Yes. Il porte. Dumpy. Oh. Oh. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. When it comes out, zero. Just a quad all pro. For anyone who's interested, we have a spaces. We try and bring different projects on. Obviously, this week we got Moon Sama, Exo Sama, every week, every Wednesday at this time. And we try and cover a range of aspects. We try and keep it entertaining. We'll talk about the poop ecosystem and how Donnie is going to bring all the utility. There's so much news. There's so many catalysts to come um, that, well, I'm going to let Donnie tell you guys himself but he's on his way now hello donny how are we just been talking about how we are delighted to have you speaking exclusively and to also have the moon summer community you guys are insane what you've built is absolutely insane how are you donny i'm really good mate and and it's such a pleasure to be here you know we've known each other for years now on the streets of telegram you know, shilling our bags and whatnot and, and spamming <laughs> bag hunter gifts. Uh, my only worry is my connection's really bad today. I've just tried to sort that out, but I, I don't know if it's been successful. So we're just going to have to go over the flow. If we have any technical difficulties, I'd advise that we, we jump over to Google Meet and we'll stream it on Twitch. Yeah, that's completely fine. So far, so good. Your connection is perfect so far. And if we had the odd little technical difficulty, then it's fine. You know, we're all DGENs. <laughs> we understand how this game works. We are so, indeed. Let, let me, you've introduced me. Let me introduce Gem Hunters from my side. So, a bit shaman, on. you know, but before we were into build a mode and we we're just, you know, investors within Web3 and whatnot, we had this this little group called Back Hunters, and we used to, you know, talk about Thailand all the time and have a lot of fun in there. And, uh, you know, that's where, that's where like, the likes of, like, Nikita were from and Somsin and Hallister and Tigger. And uh, Bit Shaman, you were in there as well, and you've got your group, Gem Hunters. And, you know, there's not many groups in crypto that are, are good people, you know, down-to-earth individuals who ain't trying to fuck everyone over. And you're one of those groups that, that you know, that, that I consider to be, like, proper OGs, you know, good guys. And, um, yeah, I just, want to, I just want to say massive respect to the Gem Hunters. I really appreciate that, Donny, because we do go back years and we have got a lot in common. We've, I was saying to the guys before that we are a similar sort of, you know, uh, investor. We kind of are hustlers, if you, if you like. We are, I think we are the people's kind of influencers as well, because we do take care of people because... We are with them in the same position. We know what it's like to be broke. We know what it's like to come from the streets. You know, we, we know what it's like. You know what I mean. And, I know and, what you mean. Yeah, and and you know, you know, this is my problem with Web Three at the moment. It's supposed to empower the little guys, the little Jimmies. Yeah, it's supposed to eliminate the middleman, eliminate the banks. But all we're seeing is like a VC orientated space where everyone just gets wrecked all the time. And that's why I went pretty militant with Moon Sama. You know, when I when I saw this bear market coming, I was like, oh, I can't be bothered to 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 invest my money in other people's projects. There's just so much dirty stuff going on. There's some projects that really piss me off. I'm like, I'm just going to build for my community now. And, and you know, Moon Sama started by accident just over a year ago. Um, we, we wanted to launch something on Moon River, the block first sort of EVM power chain of Kusama. And um, I got together with this, the head of blockchain at Energy Web. I was like, yo, yo, what are you up to? You know, let's, let's just do something for fun. Yeah, these guys have been pissing me off. Let's, let's, let's troll them. And we launched Moon Star within three days. It was on the Monday morning, uh, 21st of September last year. And we, uh, we made these pixelated birds in a day. And it was, it was just a joke, really. And, and I think we did a quick sale and then we, we gave over 200 away to the community. And it was not a single point where we thought, oh, shit, this is going to be a legacy project now. We're going to go all in on building. And we're going we're gonna, to you know, be at the forefront of sort of NFT innovation. We're going to be you know, leading, paving the way for success in Web3 with, with all our metaverse stuff. 
And um, yeah, it's, it's been a massive wild journey and I think you've witnessed it firsthand, you know, and I think, I think a lot of people are like, you know, what the hell they're doing. And now, and now things are getting a bit serious. You know, we're about to launch a layer, well, an enterprise grade uh, layer one EVM blockchain. And we're about to, you know, create, build our own ecosystem of assets. Um, it's absolutely crazy. And, and, and soon we're going to be announcing like who's coming in to support this. Um, I'm meeting, you know, certain people in person. There's going to be some advisors and whatnot and a big fund jumping in to, to assist. And, uh, yeah, it's gone on a completely different level, even in we, the last two weeks. We've got plenty of questions to come, so don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I can talk forever. I've got, you know, there's a lot of people here who want the alpha because I haven't been, I, I usually, you know, drop alpha every single day, like just chatting what's how, how things are going. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, the problem with other projects you know, they just they, they, they stick on these linear rails and they don't innovate. They don't do anything um, with us. We, every day we're learning more and we're, we're trying new things out. So, you know, one thing we announced one day tomorrow, we might find a better solution. And, and that's that's what we, we found with our, you know, the blockchain that we're going to be using before we're going to you know, because Adam Nagy was the head of blockchain energy web. It's very native for him to deploy an, an EWT fork. That's a very robust chain. You know, it was built by Gavin Wood back in 2014. It's used by the biggest energy companies in the world. But, uh, you know, one of the things that we realize is that their, their client is quite out, outdated. It's not going to be supported. So we're going to be now moving over to a Gnosis chain fork, which is previously called x and whatnot. And we've got, we've got a lot of cool stuff to go go there. So I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to quickly drop some alpha there because I've got to get it off my chest. Um, our plans <laughs> right now is we're, we're launching our own blockchain. We are native to Polkadot. I am a big Polkadot maximalist. There's no doubt about that. It's the best tech. No one can don deny. Um, but we're going to have to go initially with our own standalone EVM chain so we can start building our ecosystem there. But then we're going to transpose everything onto a substrate-based EVM chain. And then we're going to go onto our power chain. I don't want to wait six months to get stuff going. We need to have things moving yesterday. On Sunday, we, we start doing our, you know, carnage events, if you heard about them, where, you know, thousand plus people come together to play, you know, games with us on a Sunday yeah. and we mint these assets. Um, so I, we need a blockchain ready for them, you know, well, for the, ready for the 21st and I've got to move yeah. fast. Yeah. Uh, listen, I cannot commend you enough, but what I love about you, Donnie, is that you, you don't bullshit. You tell it how it is and, you know, you just said there, we are working as hard as we can. We're doing what we can. And we, we are learning on the job to an extent, but we are trying. There's a lot of projects who hit that wall and they stop and they just retreat. But you are just carrying on and you're finding what works. You're testing new ways. You're bringing new partners. But you've just mentioned there the, the game on a Sunday, which is on Minecraft now, we are super interested to understand how does that work? How can people actually get involved? Because you can make free money for that two, is it a two hour period, is it? Yes. Yeah, so I, I need I need to explain it properly. So my vision at the start was I just wanted to play Minecraft with my mates. That was it. You know, it was that I simple love, back in the I day. I love Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but what we we well. Um, my counterpart, our CTO, head of blockchain energy web, Adam Nagy, absolute fucking genius, Gavin Wood 2.0. He, um, we, he, he devised this thing called the Moon Simon Multiverse Bridge. We're not going to call it that. We're going to change it. It's going to be like the Multiverse Portal or something exotic, some, something to get some hair on your chest, get you ready, you know. Um, but anyway, we've built this substrate from metaverses. So we're, we're able to connect together multiple metaverses and multiple different blockchains. And we're already demonstrating that. We, you know, it's connected to, to Ethereum, Moonbeam, Moonriver. We're using all the three different NFT assets from all the chains and you know, doing a lot of cool stuff there. And we never intended to, to be a Minecraft project. We just simply integrated Minecraft with the Moonriver blockchain so we could bring our NFTs and have some fun. And, and then what happened was, I was like, guys, listen, we've got to do this. It's going to be so cool. You know, we can, we can do it right away. We can, we can get everything moving. We don't need to build our own metaverse or anything. This, Minecraft's the best metaverse ever made. Um, so that was the first metaverse we, we sort of, you know, we, we integrated with our tech stack. And, um, and what happened was I thought, oh, imagine just one day a week we could all come together, yeah? And when you mine your stone in Minecraft, it gets sent to your wallet. When you chop trees down, wood gets sent to your wallet. And then you can go around and like find Lakito and you can like kill him and take all his stuff. It'd be absolutely savage. So that's that's what we came up with, this this carnage concept. 
And uh, we had about 120 players try and connect on the first day when we tried to get it working. It took about four to six hours. It was it was it was so much fun. Um, but but then it became fully fleshed out, and you know we we reiterated on the on the tech we're using. We were you know we we made it work so it could scale to a thousand plus players and things like that. And um, it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been really rewarding for the community because you know where the, the this is what we do with Moonstar. We build for our community. So all of that stone and wood and whatnot, and when you were harvesting your wheat in the metaverse, so to speak, we used it all to create these things called Ponsama NFTs, right? And these Ponsama NFTs, we, we built an actual blockchain game there. We built another piece of tech called the Moonsama Battle Engine, which allows you to use your digital assets in any to, to, to sort of battle essentially in any metaverse and we and we, we, we deployed it first in telegram because i said if this shit works in telegram it will work in any metaverse ever made you know because it can work in a command line essentially yeah um so yeah so these little fish they um they're really cool and you know we're building a lot of stuff around them and 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 uh, one of the you know just so you said i say how it is i you know there's only around 300 people who can really experience ponsam and have fun so i want to create a different model for it i want it to be open to tens of thousands of players um and and that's what we're doing we, 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 we're doing that in our, our metaverse and i'm going to be chasing our lead game developer this week because he's supposed to deliver on it today i'm going to see where he is here because if you're watching mate i'm coming for you um <laughs> anyway so so the, but but what these pond salmas did was they they in i don't know if you've seen our meta ponds we've got these browser-based meta ponds where you see your nft fish swimming around it's fucking sick um before you battle them um anyway but they produce this thing called poop and and poop's the thing that we're going to be designating for the the layer one blockchain token and um it's, it's raised a lot of eyebrows from my side you know poop had a fully decentralized and fair transparent um sort of distribution you know it was the ideal shit coin to go out to everyone you had to you had to work for you know nearly a year in the metaverse to try and earn it and and not even i thought we were going to do anything that big with it you know it's just when when we like something happened not too long ago and i was like we've got to get our blockchain now i'm fucking sick of big barry i'm sick of these vcs fuck them all i want to build our own <laughs> ecosystem <laughs> what's what's the best what's the best fucking thing we can use as a utility token to to sort of you know use for the gas um and and, and we just went with poop you know um so yeah I, I, it's i think it's absolutely fantastic and uh, that's that's the thing a lot of people are going to be curious around, you know, what mechanism we, we have in place to to use transpose over our old sort of poop and um, use it on this new blockchain as the, as the core utility token that underpins the ecosystem. Um, mate, I'm going to be ranting. You better yeah, fire no, some no, questions, no. you know. <laughs> you, you are, yeah, yeah you, you are flying through. We had a lot of questions, but you've answered pretty much most of the questions now we want to understand more about what you've just been talking about then regarding poop what is the actual utility you meant you covered it you covered it there it, it's a gas but what what are the plans can you give us the alpha today because poop is currently pumping everyone's going crazy everyone's here and we're all excited so can you drop us some more yeah. alpha regarding what's happening with poop Okay, just for the record, not financial advice. I don't care about the price of the poop token. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's just so our community has this utility token so they're able to execute transactions on the blockchain, you know, sign transactions, whatever. Um, and every blockchain, you need to pay for transactions sort of thing, or, well, un unless we in introduce our gas as transactions, which I can talk about later. Um, so... So we launched what was going to be the open sea of Polkadot, which is called Rare Sama. And we pulled together all the amazing talented dot Sama artists. And, um, and we were going to use Poop there as the governance token. So you could, you know, you, you can't just have all these little Davids coming in, like posting scams and things. We need to have a curated place, a marketplace. And Poop was essential for there. Um, Poop was also it's the underlying token of the Pond Sama blockchain game, which is kind of like Axie Infinity style. Um, and I don't know if you've seen the metaverse we've been building. So we're building this browser-based metaverse. You saw the FUD recently for Decentraland with its, you know, daily active player count of 34 people, and it's valued at $1.2 billion or something. That's $33 million per player. So it's a bit preposterous. Um, anyway, 
what I see is the big problem with this metaverse bullshit is that it's inaccessible. You know, if you, you can't go down the, the route of high fidelity 3D graphics, you're going to have like 10 people on screen at once if you go down this, this side. I want to build something really accessible. I want to build something like RuneScape, Habbo Hotel was, where you can get, you know, not just hundreds of people on screen, but thousands. So we're building this 3D browser-based metaverse. You don't need to install any shit. You don't need to worry about, you know, oh, I've got to download a client, and it's going to be like watching my Telegram messages and everything. No, it's just it's all in the browser. And um, we're going to be using 2D art and, and what looks like a 2D isometric map, but it's actually 3D. And it's like, um, yeah, so... And we, we did a little meta rave, you know, metaverse rave uh, the other day, just to test. And, um, oh, man, the, the, the potential there is huge. And, and this is one of the, the things I'm most excited about. And, and i got to explain this to people, you know, because are you, you, you remember the ball when we just came out of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember all these shitty projects coming up posting like these trailers they got from fiverr.com and it, and it looked really the graphics looked amazing and everything it's like oh this is going to be the next <laughs> big metal don't get me started on that man cinematic trailers are the worst mate. shit exactly so raising 10 you know, millions for fucking 50 bucks fiverr trailer yeah if someone comes along to me and says i'm at a burst like shit i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna stamp on them and I'm, I'm gonna be pissed off because all of this stuff that we've seen, all of this hype and, and shilling from all these other so-called, you know, web-free metaverse projects, it's just, it's just bullshit. It, they're all ghost towns. Um, I, I, we've got to go to 2D route, you know. We don't have the technological capabilities of really pulling this up. I think Board 8 Yacht Club have, you know, they managed to get like 3,000 3D avatars rendered on screen and everything. But they're using, that, they're using you know, a, a technical project that, that uh, it costs $500 million to develop and things so um it may be it's possible that yeah maybe it's possible that right but i don't know i gotta go to 2d route it's not and and, and i know what's gonna happen you know you know the people get I, well actually i don't i know what's gonna happen we've got to get over the initial hurdle of oh that looks pretty shit blah blah compared to this but the whatever everyone else has been shilling for the last six months is it's, it's not real you know it's not functional 100%. Um, so, so yeah, yeah anyway Poop's poop's really important in that. It's 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 like the it's the game token. It's the and the, the metaverse itself is called Ponsama, so um, it's important there. But now you know um, from from my angle, yeah, as the Moonsama president or whatever, because Moonsama is a DAO, you know, everyone, a lot of different people are involved and, and tell, everything. Tell but about, yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Tell us about the team, uh, Donny, and what what are some of the people? Because I've heard great things about. Some of the team members um, over at Moon Sama are absolute, you know, geniuses. You've got some really good developers. Tell us about the team. Okay, so you, you know me. Um, I am, I am, you know, Donnie, whatever. I'm a very, you know, <laughs> successful investor, and I think a lot of people know who I am by now. Um, but I'm not, I'm not the face of Moon Sama, you know. Um, the other. So the other members of the team are, you know, Kyoko, Adam Nagy, who's head, previous head of blockchain at EWT. He's really well known to be like an absolutely killer developer. He's, um, he's one of the best Solidity guys around. And he's like the, the technical genius. But he's also a handsome motherfucker as well. I don't know if you've seen the photos of him in his, his, his <laughs> fucking in his, his unicorn onesie when he, when he dances <laughs> on, in, on stage, yeah. Um, and then, and then there's, there's another, he's sort of right-hand man. It's this guy called Uncle Fester, and he's not dark shit, but he's like... <laughs> absolute world-class DevOps guy. He's one of the best around. Billionaires fight over him and everything. And we don't say his name because we don't want to piss them off because they already know we've stolen him, but whatever. Um, and then and then, I, if I don't reel off every single name, I'm going to get absolutely killed. But I'll, I'll just mention that the, the ones that have the biggest impact on the surface level, and that's, you know, we've got an art director called Justine Cruz, and he's known for his work on, on Magic the Gathering. And he was about to go and work for Hearthstone. I was like, fuck off, mate. You ain't doing that. You're coming working with us. We need you. <laughs> so so now, now he's managing a team of 14 people in the Philippines. He's got a, a studio there. And... Um, and, and that's what we need. We need a lot of artwork consistently. You know, uh, you've got, we've got this Hello Sama event coming up and we, and we need that shit to look really good. And so there's a lot of artists needed. Um, if you've seen our Exo Sama artwork and the Moon Sama 2.0 stuff, it's, it's, really, it's like some of the best artwork in, in, in crypto right now. 
You know, everyone's got this pixelated bullshit going on or very, very loosely done, you know, illustrated images. There's no no shading or anything. We've got fucking League of Legends art on every single NFT. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's next level. This, this is the issue as well, is a lot of projects are trying to be really technical. They're trying to build these unbelievably massive ecosystems, but they never materialize. And also, they never get the basics right. I mean, we had you know, an NFT project that we are sort of supporting. I won't mention the name, but the NFTs... People oh, probably, shit, man. Probably able to guess. Don't mention the name, but uh, <laughs> they, they, look, they look absolutely shit. But the project itself that they're building is supposed to be like next level. It's supposed to be bringing all this, this new utility to NFTs and crazy stuff. But the actual NFTs themselves look shit. So it's I think it's super important to get the basics right. And that's one thing that you guys have got right and now you are building from there so it's like going back to what i was saying before about wait you... wait but, but go back to it I, you remember our original moon sama nfts yeah they were the shittiest ones in the world you know? mm, to be honest they, they still looked NFT. much better than the project he just meant mate 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 those og pixelated moon sama first they were much better, better than, than, big than the one he meant trust me man but the ones he just meant, they look so bad. Like okay, okay, these these sound know. really bad. But but the, the point was, yeah, it doesn't matter about the art because uh, this is why I love NFTs so much. Yeah, I used to shit on NFTs a year ago. I thought they were absolute dog shit, scams, whatever. But then I realized, you know, it's just another token. But this token has actual utility because it links to a fucking JPEG. Yeah, it has this social utility, this cultural utility. It means so much more. That's why we want to implement a NFT based governance model on the new blockchain to solve a lot of these governance issues that are occurring. Um, you know, let, let me give you an example. If you've got a power chain and Polkadot, but your voter turnout rate is 1% of the network, which happens all the time. No one fucking goes out and votes. No one cares. All you've got to do is buy 1.1% of the supply and you control the vote. You know, so. We, we talk about PRS networks being secured by their fully diluted valuations and, and whatever, but it's bullshit. You know, a, a block, a, a, a decentralized blockchain is only secured by, by abstract its governances as well. So um, one thing that I think we've really pioneered here is that we, we built this town hall in Minecraft and everyone goes in and votes with their on-chain assets using this multiverse bridge technology we did. And I think this is a, a lot of big people are looking at this now thinking, oh, fucking hell, these Moon Sama guys really hit the nail on the head. Even Gavin Wood tweeted about it. You know, the guy who built fucking Ethereum. Um, so that's that's what I want to do. I want I want to use these NFTs to govern the entire blockchain. You know, your NFT has a vote, basically. And I, I think I think this is um, this is going to be groundbreaking as well. So we are going to have the first blockchain in the world governed by NFTs. I think it's pretty substantial. And I'm fucking... Proper excited about that. That is that is amazing. So one of the biggest things we can take away from this today is that it's going to be the first blockchain governed by NFTs. And um, the the different uh, uh, what what I'm trying to understand. Can you give us some basic format and understanding on how all the projects come to? Because you've got Moon Sama, Pond Sama, Exo Sama, Poop. And obviously, rare people... Sama, fucking <laughs> bit shame and Sama, you know. You, you <laughs> know what's next. But, but I think that, that you can't explain it in terms of what's within there, okay? Because we've even got fucking grumblings that we just airdrops and everyone for free because we wanted to launch an FC on, on, on Moonbeam for our new marketplace there. Uh, you know, we were building Super Gromlin Kart in the background, a multiplayer browser-based shitty fucking Mario Kart, you know, sort of inspired game where we can race each other for fucking shit coins, whatever. You know, <laughs> but but <laughs> there's so much fucking fun stuff happening. We don't write white papers or mess around with raises and false oh. promises. We just fucking we just fucking build and have fun every day, and that's that's why that's why we're just executing so fast. But anyway, the, your question was, how do we how do we say all these things come together? Well. Moon Sama is not a project. Moon Sama is an ecosystem. And that's why we're building a blockchain because we've got a, a $130 million NFT ecosystem. It's big enough to propagate its own network now. Um, so it's, it's, it's massive. It's, it's, it's not just a simple project. However, um, I would say that the two sort of pillars, the foundation of Moon Sama right now is Moon Sama NFTs and Exosama NFTs. So Moon Sama 
as you, as you know, these NFTs that we released over a year ago, we gave them all away, yeah? not thinking we're going to like use them up and shit, and no VCs involved or anything. Um, you know, there's one problem. There's only 1,000 moon psalms in total, and that translates into you know around 340 actual holders or something in holders. There's, there's over you know 300 people in the in the gated Telegram chat who are talking all the time. Um, it, it's a very inclusive community, so. You know, the next step was to, to 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 widen it out, and we needed. Uh, some I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna dispel rumors. You know, some people are gonna say that that we just wanted to bring in some sexy girls into our metaverse, and that's why we made extras farmers. <laughs> yeah, and, and some people are saying the lady boys or some. You know, there's a lot of fud going on around <laughs> that. I, so I'm not I'm not commenting yeah. on on these these just just the stupidity of whatever yeah. people say. But what I'm saying is, extras farmers is a way to sort of increase our user base. Yeah, okay, we needed great. we needed this this substrate this 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 interoperable NFT okay to to, to display our tech use cases. Um, so your Exosama, you know, we've got ten thousand collection there, and I think there's like three thousand holders. So we, we've we've already ten x our community size potential, you know, and it can, it can go even further. Um, so we're able to scale up the people who get involved because NFTs are essential. It's our Lego. In, in our blockchain. It's, 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 it's what our governance is built upon. So the cool shit about Exosama that's going to be revealed soon is that I think we're the first in the world to do this as well. You have this Ethereum-based avatar, but you're able to equip NFTs from all these different blockchains. Okay? So we're going to be equipping stuff from Moonriver, from Moonbeam, and from Ethereum um, so far, and our upcoming power, um, blockchain, which I think is called Exosama Network at the moment. And um, so all these different blockchains interacting with an NFT on Ethereum is, is, is going to be mind blowing for some people. Um, but I don't want to, you know, we, we, we're not trying to push that side out too hard. I, I want to release it and, and then let people see it in action and then we can make some noise on there. Um, so, yeah, but what I see is moon, if, if you really believe in, in what we're building, you need a moon Sama because that's like the governance token you know we won't really we don't want to really open up governance to anything else at the moment because I mean, Samas have been for shitcoin university you know that they've been with us for 12 months they, they know the score they know the vision they know the team they 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 know how we need to evolve and um and i think I moon mean, are the people who i believe are the are best um sort of qualified for ensuring the security of the network and and and, and its evolution there yeah. um and yeah. um, you, you said before that there's only a thousand moon samas um yeah. so you know if people can't purchase a moon sama if they're too expensive then exo sama is the next best thing right and i'm yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that i mean the exo sama floor price dropped uh re, re, only a little bit not much it's still like 2.5 eth but do you expect Exosama, is that going to get attention next? Is that going to get all the, you know, the utility coming towards it? Just like you spent all that on Moonsama, is Exosama going to get all this love and attention? And can people expect, you know, Exosama to increase in value, you know, exponentially like Moonsama did? I can't comment on anything price related, okay? Because um, I don't give a shit about the price. We've just got, we've got artwork. You buy an artwork. Yeah, we sell artwork. That's it. If we want, if if we the community, you know, like people like Kilcore and everyone and, and other people, they want to build technical solutions using these as Lego blocks, and then, then that's fine. Um, in regards to our uh, lovely EXO is going to get attention. They certainly are because the fucking blockchain is called EXO Salmon Network. Yeah, it's just like yeah, like everything's going to be built around them what, essentially. What if, what I'm, sorry, what what I'm trying to do is is keep get people's eyes open to what is going on and what's coming next. It's like, okay, when, okay. When... It's a, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to mention something else. When you launch something, you kind of want like, you know, there's a, there's a lot of hype around launches of things. And if people don't, you know, you want the people who don't appreciate the artwork to leave the ecosystem early on. Yeah. And once that's happened, then, you can move forward with a, a you know, a, a community or ecosystem of people who appreciate the artwork, so to speak. Um, you, you need to have these shifts in ownership of Picasso artwork, Justine Cruz artwork, fucking Cobra artwork. You know, you need to have shifts in the in the sort of, you know, uh, the distribution. Um, 
and and this is an essential step in in evolving and and when you have an art market and it's it's operating within the same liquidity pool as other markets you know there's a lot of movement of of, of stuff between to and from i don't really want to orientate the conversation yeah, yeah. towards anything price related mm, I think but we got your point <laughs> yeah 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 what, what what i'm saying is um you know we exosama is going to have utilities that moon sama don't moon sama is going to have utilities that exosama don't um that's that's what's going to happen and i you know i I don't think I'm the person that ever lets people down. You know, we've, we've got no, some no, stuff no. being yeah, built. Yeah. So, 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 Exosama, for example, you know, all the upcoming law is built around them. And there's something that people aren't really talking about, and I know it's happening. And it's we, we've got we've got a lot of funds basically to build some really cool shit. And one of those things is going to be Battle for Nova. And that's the sort of game around Exosama, and that's going to be absolute killer. Um, so yeah, but I, I can't talk about that too much, sort of thing. So, so what Alpha. I'm saying is that there's, there's <laughs> exclusive things around Exosama, you know, and uh, um, and right now we're at this very early stage, and we're not going to, and, and we don't do this roadmap bullshit. We don't do this light paper stuff in regards to, oh yeah, yeah, we've got this partnership coming next month, and then this next. It's like, no, like, we're doing stuff now, we're doing stuff tomorrow. The quicker we get it done, we move on to the next thing. You know, if something else comes along, an opportunity, that's, 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 that's really good. And we think, you know, we should prioritize that. We will. We're very flexible. It's, it's, it's chaotic at the same time. And and uh, some people love it, some people hate it. But um, I think, you know, we've demonstrated that we can outbuild all the other immediate teams immediate within our ecosystem. And, and that's what people are really paying attention to. So, um yeah, a lot of stuff's being built from Insama and Exosama, that's that's for sure. Yeah, and I just want to say, one thing that you were covering then was about the artwork, but when I look at Moonsama and Exosama and Poop and everything else that you're building, the artwork, yeah, it's part of it, but I see the community, and it's probably the strongest community in the space right now. It's the only community that I go into, and it is blowing up <laughs> every time I go in. The Moon Sama community, it's just blowing up. And what I love is that everyone is like-minded. And it's like me and you are a similar kind of person. We grew up watching Stone Cold Steve Austin on TV. You know, Stone <laughs> yeah, Cold. we did, yeah. <laughs> Stunnering people. We grew up playing Minecraft, Mario Karts. Like we, <laughs> and there is a huge user base in crypto just like us. And all of this that you're doing is appealing to them. And it's it's special. So I'm just trying to really say to you that, you know, I'm part of the community now. And, um, you know, I'm holding quite a few exosomers. got myself a moon sama, and, and I'm holding a lot of poop. <laughs> I, always find, <laughs> I always find it hard to say that. You know, when we talk about poop, I sent out a tweet before saying, send this shit. <laughs> and I didn't even mean it. I didn't even mean it. <laughs> I really like the fact that we called it poop because I just did. I didn't want anyone to buy it, you know. I only wanted people to. Here's the thing: everything in Moon Sama has been like Moon Sama's have got it for free, basically. Um, we've built it together, and you get it. You know, you earn it in the metaverse and whatever. And I think having it called poop and people think, "What a fucking shit coin," you know. I think that's the best strategy to have because then you fucking do the, the curveball and you just like, "Oh shit, wait, wait until you see what comes next with it," sort of thing. Um, and like no one knows, not even I do, you know, because everything changes so quick. <laughs> That's what I love about it. And um, by the yeah. way, Johnny, quick, quickly check your um, message in Telegram, um, yeah. just really quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I... that's uh, that's 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 fine by me. Um, fuck, there was something really important I was going to mention, and I completely forgot. Um, oh, you, you you haven't asked me the questions about the the fashion brands and my vision there and music as well. Um, that was yeah, so uh, we, actually about. Had, we actually had a load of questions laid out, but you've just gone and basically covered everything. So, so basically, I've, I've never done an AMA with anyone before. This is the first time, this you is, know. And 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 you were so is, polite. You've, you've done really well, to be advanced. honest. To be, to be fair, Donny, I don't want to like you know bl blow you off or anything, but this. This is probably the best spaces we've had, um, the most, the biggest turnout, the best flow. But um, listen, referring to some of your connections, you know, regarding Versace and Diesel, 
What can you tell us in regards to how are they involved um, in the ecosystem? What role are they playing? Okay, so um, as you know, I'm, a, I'm a, a very good person in regards to networking. You know, we build good strategic alliances with people. So we're happy to support other projects. So, you know, there's other projects we're building with right now. You know, uh, Kilt's one of them. We battle tested Kilt in our live environment you know we're using the dids on the and the social carries kyc logging methods uh subsquid is another one um we're doing a lot of work with them there that you know subsquid we battle tested their stuff because we blew it up they, they had 15 times the volume they've ever experienced before they weren't ready and um and another team that i really believe in is, is, is public pressure and i'm um, going to be hanging out with sergio soon i, I can't wait for that um so so what what we do is with Minsama, we look after our community. Yeah, we uh, we good people. We aim to be no, you know, no bullshit. You can you can see how it's demonstrated. But when you have partners, not like you know, in half this, well, ninety percent of the space is just fake bullshit partnerships with people. Our partners are actually building with, and public pressure is one of them. And they're going to be focused in hard on the music vertical. But the really cool thing is. One of the co-founders is Francesca Versace. She's the daughter of the Versace, Gianni Versace, who's the Versace CEO. So she's like literally Versace mafia, you know, and um, and she's got so many connections. And and this is how it's going to work. If if we at Moonsama help them, you know, with with giving utility to their music NFTs, helping them, you know, helping to incubate their projects as well, and you know, getting our community involved, they're going to be bringing the big names with absolute ease. So Diesel's one of the first ones that's been announced, okay? And then we might have dropped some alpha in one of the slides and everything. And, you know, fashion brands like Diesel, not just Diesel, but, but all of them, they all want to have a presence in the metaverse, you know? And if we can really deliver hard for the first ones we're on board, the rest will come at the same time. It'll, it'll be amazing. And the same for music artists. And I think... When we have these metaverses, we need to bring fashion in, we need to bring art in, and we need to bring music in. And all of these things are so exciting right now. Um, so, so we've got really strong ties there. Uh, some other ties from another angle I can't, which is very recent, within the last week that I can't disclose at the moment. Um, it's, it, even Sony greenlighted, Sony Music Masterworks greenlighted us to do an airdrop on these pods things. You know, it's like, what the hell, man? Like, that's that's another big brand, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it, it, um, goes, it goes to show, though, just how important having connections are. And we watched on uh, YouTube, uh, Moon Farmer YouTube, uh, Versace and all her connections were having a party. Remember, uh, a couple of weeks. Yeah, so we we had a joint party in Berlin with 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 um with public pressure and like Francesca Versace was there. Oh my god, I, I want to say some things, but I can't. You know, <laughs> Come on. Morning, man. no, I can't on this one, man. I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna mess up our new future partnership, but it's very, very <laughs> funny stuff. And anyway, and and the other day she's tweeting. Like with, she was with uh, Nikki Rothschild and Paris Hilton, and they're like, oh, just missing Donny Big Bags. I'm like, what the hell, man? You know? And um, yeah, I think it's fun. And and what what we're gonna do with Moon Sama, especially with our new blockchain, where we can do gasless transactions, we can have, build our own uh, on ramps and things like that. Little Jimmy can come up. My my vision here with building our blockchain is that little Jimmy and all his mates can come along. They don't need to get wrecked and get messed about like with Coinbase and all that stuff. They can just play in Web3 and own their shit. They earn their stuff in the metaverse like they would in any other game, and it's theirs. You know, if our stuff shuts down, I hope we have a sustainable DAO model that goes on for eternity, funding like game developers and things and, and stuff like that. And these assets that we're building in our Musama item economy, they're going to be using all these different cool things, you know, they're, they're, they're Lego as well. And, um, and we need, we need fresh blood. Okay. So within the Polkadot ecosystem, it's, it's like shit coin Island, mate. You just got all the, you got all these projects trying to shield to the same people. And like, you know what I mean? It, it's a zero sum game. Um, so I want to develop like sort of, um, pathways so people outside of crypto can come in and have a lot of fun. I want little Jimmy to play with NFTs and not have to spend thousands of dollars. And that's that's something I'm going to be working on in 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 a few months' time. And it's um it's, it's called yeah. mercenaries basically. Um, but but anyway, the uh, so and 
you know, fashion artists, fashion brands. We, we need to bring them all in. And, and, and the way we're going to do that is we build rapid, you know. And if we build utility for all this cool stuff that they're going to be bringing in, then, then it's going to work. And it's already started to show that right do now. You- um, do you ever stop? Do you ever stop? Because I, I obviously know you. I've been bouncing off you for years. I was part of the bag hunters community. I was in there a lot. And, you know, I I understand more than ever recently that you don't stop, do you? You're always doing something, aren't you? Yeah, because, you know, I've got my Lambo and everything. I've got my mansion. Um, I, I did really well with, with, with my investments in crypto. And... I, I don't know, man. I just get bored, and, and and we're building something bigger here. You know, we've got all these people. I spent, you know, seventeen hours a day with on Telegram. All my friends, everything, um, and I, I'm really passionate about Web three and blockchain. And this is like the the, the the only thing I want to do in the world. I just want to build this cool shit, and I love it every minute of the day. And and so it's so easy for us to work. We work. We all work seven uh, seven days a week. You know, it's yeah. it's yeah. mental, but it, it doesn't feel like work. It's it's like you were born to do this. It's, it's what oh, you yeah. got to do. I feel the same way. I I, I feel like it, it was destiny for Orma. You see, as I said, I think I'm a similar age to you. And when I started 9 till 5, you, you couldn't go and play fucking Call of Duty professionally and earn money. I missed all that. So when crypto came along, it was like, you know, it was like a second chance to get involved in all that. But I won't even go there. Listen, um, just want to ask you a couple more questions in regards to the Sony airdrop that you mentioned before. Is that something that's going to happen? Um, and is this the, so yeah. public pressure release these things called pods and it's essentially the first equipable that you equip onto an Exosama, these headphones. And it's like public pressure NFT, but, but people don't really realize that it's actually, um, it's actually entrance into their private cell at, $30 million valuation or whatever. So if you get that NFT, this, this pod's NFT, you, um, you get their, their token. And it's how they're going to get the token out to the community. And I haven't tweeted this, so this is alpha as well. But people in the private groups, they know. And um, so when we talk about, we're going to be building utility, music utility around these pods, and they're going to get airdropped NFT music and things. And I think the Sony, so there's a Sony Music Masterworks slash Artist First artist, and they've got green light for their music going on there. So that's an, another, you know, sort of airdrop. But that goes into the pods specifically. Um, but uh, obviously, you know, um, this, I don't know, talking about airdrops and things is, 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 is uh, not very good in for regulatory circumstances. So it's not our project. It's theirs. Blame it on them, so to speak. Um, no, I get that. But, I get but, that. <laughs> but but yeah, that's that that's what's gonna happen there. But but um, this all of this music is gonna be used in our metaverse, and you know if I don't, I haven't seen anyone pull off music NFTs properly yet. I haven't seen the open sea of music or anything. And I mean, yeah, we are like not really involved with Ethereum. We're very new to it, and then Ethereum is. is building up the sort of global nft landscape but i think i think you know i I still think nothing no one's really pulled it off so if if we pull off the nft jpeg side of things and the metaverse side and actual multi-chain utility and nft 2.0 and you know these guys we we give them our full support and we build them up to be you know the open sea of music um shit man i'm I'm really excited about them as well and um this is what i want to do you know when 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 teams come along and they and they give, you know, they, they have confidence in us, they believe in us. I want to support them as much as I can, and um, that's another reason I get up every day and I'm, I'm just fucking on it, you know, like yeah, working yeah. like a madman. Yeah. yeah, I I I feel like the, the the whole space has gone more community orientated, as if we are moving more towards that decentralized kind of governance. And when you see really strong communities, I feel like that is. They are paving the way, and you, what you're building over at Munsama is just, it, it, it's huge. It, it's so much more than just art or a game or just, you know, or just money. It, it's community, and it's something that I feel like crypto has lost a lot of because 
you know, people got greedy during the bull market. It happens every cycle. During the bull market, everyone gets greedy. They them their ethics and morals and things reduce, and they forget why they're here. And then it's during the bear market. Bear market's my favorite time because you understand why am I here? What am I doing? And you want to see, you find all the people who want it as bad as you because the people who just come for the quick money are gone. So you're seeing now all the people who stayed and all the projects and the ecosystems like Moon Sarmer, Exo Sarmer, all the other stuff that you're building. Um, you know, on on a last sort of note, there you've mentioned music NFTs a few times, and can you expand on what are music NFTs? How will they actually work? I'm just going to go back to the community focus thing, and I think you really hit the nail on the head. I think the the bear is the best time to really push because everyone's gone silent you know so when you make noise now you got everyone's eyes and ears on you you know and these people crypto never forgets they're going to see who's built the hardest you in the bear and when that ball one comes you know it's it's happy days um and you know you there's a lot of bullshit in the space but everyone knows my wallets and I, i've never sold a single moon samba i've never sold a resource i've always you know bought more of these nft artworks myself personally you know um, I think I've demonstrated that it's 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 not a money thing. It's I'm, I'm the sort of person where there's other projects and VCs and big names and, and they, they you know if they, if they piss us off, oh man, I'm, I'm motivated to the end of the earth to 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 to, to, to fight against them and and, and outbuild. Um, so so yeah, and I think I don't know, man. I I think it's a bit of an embarrassment when you look across the other side of the pond and whatever and within this space. And you see all these teams doing nothing, you know, making no noise, and, and they're not really delivering. And, oh, man, I'd go into hours of rants on that. Anyway, going back to music NFTs. So NFTs are just, it's just a token that links to a file, basically, yeah? So it's, it's NFT, music NFTs in the purest and simplest form is, is going to be, it's, an, it's a token that links to the, the, um, the music file. Instead. I think there's a lot of work being done on, like, IP, rights, usage, distribution, of, of music um i don't care about that i just want an nft and a music track that we can use <laughs> so these you know sergio from public pressure they've, they've been really involved in um, the, you know the regulatory aspects of it and all that the business side of things with the labels i don't know all that all that stuff i just want the lego blocks i just want to build i just want you know we have we have our own like music player or something we have our own concerts um so i think that at the moment you know jpegs are really widely accepted and they're really used we're going to be able to turn anything into NFTs. We can turn, you know, real estate, everything, and um, and and I think the next one is is music, and and then the other one, the next one after that is is, is digitals, you know, like these slash digital slash physical stuff, um, fashion garments, you know, and it's a lot of innovation here. But I see a lot of problems as well because we're at the 1998 AOL CD fucking internet era. You know, it's it's so early. Everything's going to evolve hard. And this is also a problem, you know, for our media ecosystem. You've got eight different teams building eight different NFT standards. Everyone's trying to reinvent the wheel. Probably the same in other ecosystems. And that's why I just want to keep it simple. Just focus on the simple core, ERC721 or ERC1155 building blocks. Um, yeah, I hope that answers the question. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I think you're right in what you're saying regarding there's constant utility being added to NFTs. The boundaries are being pushed every single day. And it's good to see that you guys are at the forefront kind of pushing and discovering. And that's what it's all about. You've kind of got to just test the water. Can we do that? Can we do this? No. Yes. Is that possible? And it's always people like yourself who are just nonstop and don't always get it right. But it's the fact that you are consistently trying. And by the way, I'm not saying you get it wrong there, by the way. I think I instantly sound like you're getting it wrong. <laughs> I am starting to think, what the fuck have we got wrong so far? I come up with the most crazy shit and it always works. You know, oh, let's connect Minecraft to the blockchain. Fucking turn into the biggest shit in Polkadot, you know? And then um, I woke up one day, oh, let's let's fish up some fish in the metaverse and have an NFTs. And then it's just like turning to poop, you know? It's it's crazy. And I think when, when you have these small successes, then you just like, I want to go bigger and bolder. You know, we've we've underestimated our, our, ourselves so much. You know, we need we need to have bigger dreams, bigger visions, go for bigger stuff. And then it's like, OK, this is the fucking blockchain. Fuck it. You know, YOLO. We've got all the team we need. We've got all the funding we need. 
And um, and we got even more funding as well because now people heard that we're building a layer one blockchain. They're like, oh shit, they're actually going to do it. Like this could be like the this could be the biggest blockchain in the Polkadot ecosystem. A lot of people know that. And uh, so the VCs are like fighting to get in and like begging sort of thing. And uh, I can't wait to announce some names and advisors there. It's it's, it's going to be fun. But it's it's you know I've been meeting a lot of people in person this week and and it's 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 amazing to meet like some of your heroes and mentors and stuff some of the people you really looked up to and they're like they're treating you like not like a shitcoin shiller but like an actual web free builder and that's that's what I really enjoy as well. Yeah, yeah. You you guys should host something in the UK or or, or even wherever, but you should host another. I know you have like the whole uh, Minsama uh, party uh, in, in in Berlin, but you should do something else. I'd I'd love to meet you. I'd love to bring the TGH team and the community and bring everyone together. Um, listen. Um, on a final note here, before we move to community questions, are you happy to answer community questions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's fire some over. You know. It's... We, we need to get these stuff going because the people have been like, on here for 52 minutes. It's yeah, some, just, it's some kind of juice in, man. Give us the hardest questions you got. So, um, guys, if you've got a question for Donny, just request a microphone, request a speaker spot, and you can fire the questions out. Um, obviously, I just want to stipulate serious questions only. <laughs> we've had some belters over the years. So if anyone's got a question, then just just ask for speaker spot. Or you can ask in the Moon Sama community or the Gem Hunters. Is there any alpha you can you can I, I mean I know you've shared a lot of alpha already, but you know, is there Oh any... I've got some alpha right now. Someone um, ex someone, you know the guy I was talking about, he actually our lead game developer was like coming for him today. He's he's just pushed the uh Exosama integration and metaverse off. Think I can see X, yeah, Exosamas are running around our browser based metaverse right now. So, uh, it is a thing we got, you know, because we've got a lot of talent in the team, yeah. It's uh, everyone wants to like be the big dog, you know, they're, they're not competing with each other in the same areas, but it's like everyone wants to be classified as a, as a fucking badass, you know, maverick sort of thing, and um. There's a lot of passion seeking through, man. So, so if you have, do you have an Exosama, bridge it into our multiverse bridge and uh, go on ponsama.com forward slash map and you'll be able to run around and, and chat to people. Um, another really cool thing that we built that other teams want to use is we built this multiverse chat functionality. So if you type in this in our browser-based metaverse, those messages go to Discord and Telegram. So you can talk in all these three different groups so, you know, I understand that the, the, the future of Web3 is it's, it's, it's multi-chain. It's also multiverse. So we need to be able to keep our communities together. So, so things like a multiverse chat is it's a fucking very, very important, like, foundational substrate there. I've got a question here. Um, yeah. Somebody just asked, when will um, ExoSharmers um, get the token gate a access? I when? think that's happened already. That that happened two days ago. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna after this call I'm gonna double check myself with mine. Um, so Exosama <laughs> should be able to access Moonsama Carnage. It should be able to join in on on the the browser based metaverse and everything. And you, if you've got an Exosama, you need to look at doing that because things start on Sunday. Okay. Um, I can't okay. say the exact details, but so, get your shit ready for Sunday and so 4 p.m. UTC on Sunday. <laughs> just, just get involved, essentially. So, so what, what is this that he's? He, I've got no idea about. So just break down exactly what we're just being because it's just a question. So I even don't understand what is this, Doc? Okay, okay, this is really important as well because one thing we've learned on Ethereum, which is full of fucking scammers, and they're sending these fake NFTs over. And if you interact with that NFT, try and sell it, it executes some code and it will steal your fucking exos. It's ridiculous. So if you've got exos and you're not native to this, you know, NFT landscape, don't touch anything you don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, anyway. Um, so, okay. The, if you go to moonsama.com, I think it is, and you go to login, something like that. You can access the bridge. I'm the worst person to ask because I've just bridged all my assets over months ago and I don't really touch it. But here you can import in your exos and um, 
And once once they're in, like you can act you, all these different things that we've got, you, you can access your NFTs through through there. So if you import your EXO, you can join our Moon Samakani session at 4 p.m. UTC on a Sunday. And what you're going to be doing there is you're going to be running around and, and collecting pumpkins, okay? And these pumpkins get sent to your wallet, and we use these pumpkins to craft stuff. Moonsama has always been called a, a play-to-craft protocol rather than a play-to-earn sort of one. So I don't know if you saw my tweets. There's some uh, very beautiful-looking Halloween outfits and things like that, and um, that, that's how you're going to earn them. You, you can't you can't buy it. We can get, probably buy it from other players. We can't stop them trading them. But um, you can just join in the metaverse and, and, and earn them for free. Um, I'm going to be trying a new mechanism because, you know, when we talk about accessibility, um, we don't want the whales to be the only ones who can appreciate the content. So I'm going to be testing something out where, say you've got like a skin from League of Legends or an outfit for your exit armor. I think we can have a soulbound version that's much easier to acquire, Okay. Um, obviously there's, there's, there's no way of trading or anything, or it's very difficult to do so. And we're going to have the transferable version, the actual, you know, transferable NFT. Um, so I think a lot of the big players, they're going to be aiming to craft these transferable ones, which will have more use in the future because, you know, you might want to send them somewhere else. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so on Sunday is when Exosama Fun begins, and you'll be able to earn the first equipable, so equip onto your NFT and flex. Love it. Um, Absolutely love it. I've got another question. But, but, yeah, go in, go in, tele, go in Telegram. App. Everyone will help you. You know, um, it's I you know it's a bit complicated at first. Mate, installing MetaMask, installing a fucking crypto wallet was complicated at first, and 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 this is you know we've got to make this easier in the future. Everyone has yeah. every project. Hundred you percent. Know? I mean, I remember using MetaMask for the first time when I was a newbie, and it was so complicated. I was like, gas? What's gas? I have to transfer from the wallet to MetaMask back out to wallet. Now everyone's doing DeFi and fucking all kinds of other shit. So, I'm like, bit shame, but imagine our new blockchain, yeah? You have an extra summer. You don't have to... Like, well, we're worth an extra summer because we have to oh. put them on Ethereum, you know? But if you, if, if you have the, 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 bar, the new barrier to entry, which would be this open-ended NFT, yeah? Um, you don't have to use gas, you know? You'd be able to, like... Well, you'll get gas from our four set for free, Um and it's just like if you've got your own chain, you can build these things. So little Jimmy doesn't need to send his fucking allowance to, to Coinbase and do all <laughs> this shit. You know what I mean? He can just he can just use the blockchain without messing around. Oh, I don't I, I, I don't know if you guys see the importance of that. Um, we, there's a lot of people in crypto, but it's really really difficult to get in there. You know? Yeah, especially if you're a bit older and like not that native internet generation then it's really fucking hard I've, I've tried to explain to a friend who's like past 40 now and it was really tough to explain him like what's gas what's your address don't lose your private key all that kind of stuff we definitely have to make everything more simple and we also have another question for you here so um I'm not sure if, if that's actually a thing but a guy is asking if you can drop some alpha on Gromlin's breeding Okay, okay, so so Gromlins is like, it was just a free airdrop that, that went out, and um, we just wanted to give some artwork away to the community. But then, you know, Gromlins is like, we've, we've built this world, it's called, I don't know, codenamed the Novaverse, you know, and our Ponsama Metaverse is built in the ancient city of Madeline that was flooded. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of backstory, like law on the exercise website. But we're going to be building towards this, the, the main city of our, of our you know, of our store is, 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 is Nova. And uh, in, the, in the stewards underscore Nova, you've got these little grumbling creatures. And they're like, grumblings are just absolute degens and everything. So <laughs> I, want, I, I wanted to build some Honestly, fun stuff. Honestly, like, they, they like... fucking fit your community so well. <laughs> yeah, and I... I, I I, I'm not going to reveal too much because I don't want too much speculation around our assets. It's just artwork, you know. We build things. We build it for fun. We don't build it to pump the price or anything. It's we build stuff because I want to go fishing or something like that. Um, but anyway, I can say there's <laughs> super crumbling cart coming. And it ain't going to look best. It's, the graphics going to be like it's browser based, you know, and it's it needs to run on potato PCs. And I think this is going to be really, really fun because all, all I've wanted to do is play Mario Kart with the community, you know. And um, 
and 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 that's that there. Uh, maybe Grumlins might be equipable on two exos. I don't know. He can. Oh, there is a Grumlin. Grumlins are bridgeable, and Grumlins going to be integrated in our metaverse as well. And when I say integrated, I mean if you join our metaverse, your avatar in the metaverse is the exact same traits as your NFT. You know, like what's going on right now that I need to announce and do a tweet is. Exosamas have been integrated. So if you've got one with a mask on and a, and a, you know, a red hat, you know, your, your avatar is a sexy XO with your you know, mask and red hat in that metaverse. Um, we do that in Minecraft with the Moonsamas. Um, so you know, if you've got a purple Moonsama with, with, with sunglasses and a gold chain, that's what you've got in, in Minecraft. Um, but we're, we're, we're trying to not waste too much time and money on developing Minecraft at the moment because of uh, Mojang, you know, saying they're banning NFTs, but they oh, haven't yeah. done it yet, you know. I, I actually saw that. If I'm honest with Donnie, I was a massive Minecraft fan. I was obsessed with Minecraft. I spent three years just building and, and uh, obsessed. And um, I was devastated when Mojang kind of an anti-crypto sort of thing. And listen, I understand it to an extent. They're trying to run a business, trying to make loads of money. It's a corporate mindset. They're greedy. Um, it's not just that dude that they, they, they did the right thing. All the little Jimmies in Minecraft are getting scammed by all these shitty NFT uh, Minecraft projects, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually un- understand the problem then, and you know, even though we're built on it, and and Minecraft is a fucking incredible metaverse to build on, in my opinion, Web two metaverse. Um, but here's the thing, you know, we had to move fast when, when they announced that. And I was like, oh, oh he, he, here's the first time in our history the shit's actually hit the fan and we're going to have to do something. But we've been 24 hours, we've brought out, built, um, brought out this esports platform and um, we've built a new model where we're going to have like a multi-game environment. And that's what we built anyway with our, with our multiverse bridge tech. Um, it's, it's, it's not designed for one metaverse, Minecraft. It's designed for all these different games and metaverse. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad it happened so we could have a kick up the arse. And now we've got, yeah. uh, I don't know if you saw our FPS Rug of Duty. I'm going to save that till later. I don't think it's the right time to deploy it. Um, so it's like, it's, it's workable. It, it's fun. It's playable, but it's not polished enough. I want to polish that up and, and, and release it later when, when we need some cool shit to come out in a, in a yeah. time where, if you if you deploy your big bombs and things in the bear market, I'm not talking about anything to do with price or anything like that. I'm just talking about it's going to be underappreciated and go under the radar because no one's dead. around, everyone's yeah. dead. Yeah. And if you if you're just pumping out massive bombs like you said all the time, then people just get used to it and then they start to expect it. And rather than appreciate it and see it for what it really is, they just start to expect. That's human nature, isn't it? You know how it is. I've got another question here, by the way. Uh, somebody's asking about the structure of the layer one, the utility of poop and EXN um, in the metaverse. Um, can you give us any, any more informa- you know, any information on how the structure of the L1 utility of poop? And EXM. Okay, so 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 our this our first iteration of our blockchain will be a standalone EVM chain. You know, you're going to be using MetaMask just like you normally do. You don't need to do. This is the thing. You know, um, all these little Jimmies in the world they've worked how to use MetaMask now, and um, with that that's why I, I want to use EVM here. And our team's built around it. You know, um, it's the it's it, for the community. It is the best sort of route to go. Um, so it's going to have like a block time, a block time of five seconds. It's going to be pretty fast. I mean, EWT, which we're going to use, is four to five times faster than Ethereum, Moonbeam, Moon River. Um, uh, but we, we, because we control the chain, we can build application specific, uh, specific stuff. Um, now the there's other things like quite technical that Killcore really needs to talk about, like how we can use our multiverse portal to, to, to mint native assets on the chain. So our, you know, the, the main tech that all our metaverse stuff revolves around, that, that has extra functionality if we have our own blockchain. Um, and then the gasless transactions. Another really important thing that people really want is we've got our own, you know, verifiable random number generator on the new chain um, that we can really utilize. So um, we can have provable, you know, People really trust the Moon Sama team, but we need to have everything on chain. And every, all our future stuff that comes from the games needs to have provable randomness. Um, that's what I'm really excited to, to, to use as well. Wow. But the, the, the other thing is, you know, it's going to be 
at the very start, it's obviously going to be rather centralised. It's going to be controlled by a Musama cool team. We need to onboard, you know, the first wave of validators, like 30 of them. It's a it's a POA network, so we use our NFTs to dictate who gets to validate the network and, and things. Um, there's a lot of things to work out there, and we need to build this custom-built governance module with the, with the NFTs themselves. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to get too technical with everything, because I'm not even the, the best yeah, yeah. to talk that way. But the, the simple thing is, it's, it's a layer one EVM blockchain, yeah? Use your MetaMask. We use a four set to get you free gas. Um, and you just, just have fun, like, do what you got to do. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a DEX project, DOX team, who are going to be deploying something on the chain as well. Um, they won't be launching a token straight away. It's just simple DEX functionality. Um, but they're, they're probably going to be, you know, doing something. And there's a lot of institutions who want to get into whatever, you know, native applications launch on the chain. Um, and I'm hoping people who are listening right now to think, oh, shit, you know, first you know, NFT backed blockchain in the world. We might want to develop some stuff on there, you know, build some stuff. Um, one of our applications we're bringing on there is, is our NFT marketplace where Sama, which is really cool. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on the chain already, you know. Um, yeah, and yeah. You're already yeah. talking to bridges and stuff like that. No, we get it. There's a couple more questions, but listen, guys, before we move on, just want to say that we have spaces on a Wednesday night. Sorry, a little bit of a chill here. <laughs> on a Wednesday night, every <laughs> Wednesday, uh, we have spaces. Listen, we're, we're trying to focus on bringing actual, you know, helping people improve their performance within crypto, mental health. You know, I don't want to bore you guys, but it's really useful. And it's all about just having a bit of banter, getting shit off your chest. It's similar to, you know, what Donnie's doing over at Moon Sama. And it's just all community driven. It's all about helping each other get through, have as much fun, make as much money. You know the score. Every Wednesday, uh, 6 o'clock UTC. So I'll move on now to the last uh, sort of question. As I said, you know, we could sit here all night. I'm getting questions. They're flowing in. For some reason, people aren't requesting the mic. They're just t- they're just typing them in the Moon Summer and and the Gem Hunters chat. Well, so, that's but- good because it, it it speeds it up. You know, you got like you got you got little Barry coming in. It's like, oh, it's mic working, mate. And then he's like, can't hear you and stuff. That's the only I, I I've only done a couple of tw- Twitter spaces in the last four years, and it's always been a disaster. You're the best MC around. Bit shaman. Uh, There's no uh, doubt about that. Mate, this, this has been an absolute killer tonight. We've absolutely killed it. Um, are you in contact with OpenSea about the blue tick? Someone's asked that question. Really quick one. People, don't stop talking about this blue tick thing, right? And <laughs> it's all controlled on the OpenSea side. And it's like, what can we do? We've, I think today we've resubmitted another application for the blue tick. We've looked through all the criteria and we meet all of it. Yeah. Um, who knows? Who knows? So hopefully we'll hear back from them soon, and 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 that's all good. Um, it pisses me off, you know. Yeah, when yeah. There's centralized components in Web3 that we can't do anything about. Um, so yeah, but I think I think I don't know. Whatever, whatever's an issue, we'll, we'll sort it. You know, we we meet all the the criteria. It's it's one of them. Yeah, okay. Uh, another, another one here. Um, ask if more projects are coming to build on the layer one. So I think some people have signaled their interest. But in a bear market right now, like, do you know of any projects that are like starting fresh? I, I don't think so, you know. When we have a layer one blockchain, there's, there's just two things you need. You need a way of bringing liquidity to and from the chain. And you need a DEX to switch swap liquidity around. That's it. Once you've got that on a fucking solid blockchain, um, you've got everything you need to incubate an ecosystem. And we have, you know, a massive treasury and stuff to to help incentivize builders and things. Um, I mean, I'd like to go out and, and 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 chase people and bring people over, but you know, I think at the start we just got so much cool shit ourselves to build. Um, I've got a few big projects in my DMs. Um, but but yeah, and I think I don't know. I think once once we demonstrate how how, how cool the shit is, people are gonna come. Kevin Costner said that, mate. Build <laughs> it, and I'll come. You know, this is filled with dreams. Yeah. You're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, Kevin Costner, what a legend. Maybe um, we're building web free like Kevin Costner would. What can I say? It, it's the way to go. Just just build the shit. Let it all happen. 
Hundred percent. Listen, I love what you about. Fuck the white papers. Fuck the roadmap. Just do it. Too many projects are talking about what they're going to do and they're not doing it. And I also see a common issue in the space. Once a project raises funds, once they get that money, it's like they've fulfilled that the purpose. The purpose was to make money. Once they get the money, they haven't even started building yet. They never start building because they just get yachts and fancy cars and women. Whereas you have done it the other way around. You made it. You made all that money. And now this is like your purpose. So that's what I love about you and what you're doing is that you can see when you're an experienced investor in this space and you understand how it works, then you'll see projects raise money, then they drop off because money is a massive demotivator when you haven't got a purpose. But when you've got a purpose, the money just amplifies the cause, which is exactly what's happened in your case. And you can see it a mile away. You are absolute nonstop and you have that purpose. And for me, it's about investing in the team and not so much the project. Obviously, yeah, the projects do count. But when you have the right team and the right people, the right CEOs and the right founders who are obsessed, then you are on a winner. So I'm really bullish on what you're building over at Moon Sarma, Exo Sarma, Poop. You know, I sit here all day listing massive list of <laughs> projects that you're building. <laughs> well, it's been, well, it's been a year. <laughs> Yeah, I guess in another year. <laughs> There's a lot of things that have been shipped. Shit gets shipped every single week for some reason. But it's not, you know, we're not building, shipping stuff because we need to market something. It's like we, we're built, we're having to build this core blockchain infrastructure that doesn't exist. No one in the world has invented an NFT 2.0 protocol that works multi-chain where you have an avatar and a theorem and you can equip stuff from the different chains. No one that I know of has built a multiverse chat, you know, between Telegram, Discord and the metaverse, you know, and, and no one has built an NFT blockchain um, governed by NFTs. Yeah, I am fucking sick to death of these layer ones where two projects will get 80% of the treasury because the VCs voted it so, you know, which stifles innovation and, 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 and reduce, you know, there's no money going to all the, the teams that are going to innovate and bring real adoption. It's all going towards fucking the projects the VCs have filled the bags with. Yeah, I'm sick of these fucking so-called decentralized blockchains that are not they're centralized as shit. Um, I'm really angry about a lot of the big problems in Web3 at the moment. We've got to fucking do it ourselves. And, and that's what Moon is about. We're like, fuck you. Fuck the VCs. We're going to build it. Build it for our community. You can join it if you want and whatever, but we ain't going to stop. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely love it. And I'm loving, you know, we're seeing a lot of people here tonight, like Tigger, um, you know, the community that you've got behind you, Cobra, all your closest guys, they've been with you for years. And that's what it's all about. Once again, just going to finish off here. Um, have you got any alpha? I mean, so many times. You keep <laughs> asking me if I got any alpha. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, wants the alpha, man. <laughs> I mean, like, what other alpha can we do? We've got, like, you've seen the weekly development on our metaverse. It's just, like, very transparent there. There's blockchains coming within the next nine days. A layer one blockchain stealth mode. Yeah. Like, it's like, that's the biggest yeah. alpha in the world, you know? Listen, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I think, I think I said, have you got any alpha about 20 times? Like, so wait, wait, know. wait. It's like, people people asking for alpha. Someone someone tell me, put, someone put their fucking hand up and tell me, another NFT project in the world that's launched their own blockchain, yeah? Like, I, I'm, I'm waiting. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? And, and it's just like, you know... <laughs> Loving it. Listen, Donny, it's been an absolute pleasure you coming over tonight. You've absolutely killed it, mate. The flow has been great. The community has been great. What you're building, really excited, especially to see what you're doing regarding the layer one chain, first NFT blockchain, um, all the utility you're bringing over to Exo Farmers, everything that you're doing over at Moon Farmer, the, uh, the utility you're bringing to Poop, and um, all the partners, all of the stuff that you're doing in regards to music NFTs, Pushing the boundaries. Um, listen, I really appreciate you coming over tonight. We at the Gem Hunters really appreciate you coming over. Uh, massive respect to you. Have you got any closing comments you sort of want to, you know, before we finish? I just want to thank the amazing community we have who have like, been with us nonstop through, you know, this wonderful bear market and, and whatever. And I want to say thank you to you guys. This has been the most fun AMA I've ever had the pleasure to join. You guys are fucking awesome. 
<laughs> you, especially a bit shaman, you know, with your, 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 your daily videos. You even pump me up with your, with your uh, sort of motivation. Yeah, it's, it's really hard sometimes because you have to be so motivated to send those videos. And you were saying earlier on about how motivated you were. And you actually got the hairs on my arms raised because I feed off that. So, you know, I make these motivational videos, but I also feed off other people. And there's not many people in the space who give those vibes where they're so passionate but I've got to say, you are one of those people. So once again, Donnie, massive respect to you. Massive respect to the Moon Sama team, the Moon Sama community. We love you guys over at the Gem Hunters. We love the Moon Sama community. We love everyone. Um, on that note, cheers, guys. Space is done. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you on Sunday. Cheers. See you on Sunday. <laughs>